Hey guys, and welcome back to Game Night. I'm Alan Sorry, and this is Hogwarts Legacy. Headed back in for Slytherin, level 16, character. So, this is video 17. Quick recap of our previous video. We follow Jack Daw, the ghost, to find the missing pages from the book we found, which follows the main story, right? So, that puts us at the keys, which takes us into the Forbidden Forest, that's a side quest. The Tedalian keys, which are, sorry, the candles and keys. And of course the Tedalian keys, which are the keys with wings on. If I remember correctly, there's actually one of those just here. Which means the key must be nearby. As I'm here, you I'm need to, to learn the Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Oh joy. Now we have a dragon there. Still haven't seen the key. Here's another one. Which means the other one's key is down there somewhere. Um, for those of you who are curious, door! But yeah, so we have that and we require we need to use a focus potion, we need to acquire a maxima and an endurance potion and use them simultaneously. Okay, so we know that we've got the endurance potion. I don't think we have the other two. Let's see, we have one endurance potion. There's Maxima, which we do not have, but we can craft. There's Focus, which we do not have, but we can craft. We cannot craft that, and we cannot craft that. So, let's go to the Potions class and craft those two potions, shall we? Uh, if I know where Potions class is... Um, that takes us into that classroom, doesn't it? It does. That's a locked door. That's not it. You know what? There is a faster way to find the potions class. Okay. Uh, let's look at this one. That's flying lessons. Okay. Transfiguration, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Astronomy, no. Great Hall. I'm pretty sure there's one near the Potions class. Library Annex, Potions classroom, there we go. Excellent. Now, yes, in theory, I could go and I could buy the potions that this particular thing is asking me to buy. However, I would rather not, simply because I need the cash for other stuff later. I also need to sell some stuff for a moment. So, let's build, craft, a Maxima potion. 30 seconds. Excellent. Okay. Um... That one, not the journal. So yes, we are at 20 of 24, so we do need to sell stuff. And I said I would explain that unidentified item. Later on, we will find a place where we can identify items. They generally have... Um, these. No. The traits. No trait applied. Um, the unidentified items normally have a trait. They're not upgraded, but they do sometimes have a trait. And of course, the green ones cannot get them, the blue ones can have a level 1 trait, purple can have level 1 or 2, and the legendary, which can have 1, 2, or 3. 9 times out of 10, the traits you get, well, no matter what level the item is, will be level 1. And often a waste of time. Uh, once you're actually at a good level, you can get some pretty awesome ones. In the meantime, let's actually... Now, I mentioned having more of those, which are useful. 
Now that one, so Protego now allows us to gain. What's this one? Basic attacks on airborne is useful. What's this one? Successfully evading or blocking a dodge increase. That's very useful. I do that quite a lot. Blocking spells with Protego will send uh, two projectiles back at enemies. That's useful. Um, increase the range of Revelio. That's very useful actually, so I'm definitely going to do that. It allows us to find things better. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at those. Four talents to spare, and I'm actually happy with what was that one. Oh, successful Protego attacks increase from ancient magic. That's quite useful. What's this? Uh, throw and catch his enemy weapons at them. That might be interesting to use, but we'll leave it for now. No. Okay. We're good. Potion should be just about done. That is our Maxima Potion. And I believe I need a Focus Potion next. That's visibility and Focus. Thank you. One minute. Okay. Revelio. As you can see, this is now a locked door. We can unlock it, but as far as well, as you saw earlier, we went in there and there was nothing of value. We can just unlock it later. Let's see if this guy has anything interesting to say. Sir, why do I need to complete these tasks again? Professor Weasley has asked that we all contribute extra time to help you catch up to your peers. And before I teach you to pulso, I must know that you are prepared to handle it. Go. You must prove yourself worthy. As Yoda says, do or do not, there is no try. There we go, now we have potions. So, we'll start with. Let's go with a Maxima. Excellent. There we go. Now we need to attend class during the day. So we can wait and gain our new spell. Map, wait. Look, there's a side quest in Hogsmeade. Excellent. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, then I think... Perhaps best not to go flip... Also. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your skills. There we go. That is another spell. Excellent. So, we've now finished that quest. We can attend the flying class. However, we did see that there was a side quest in Hogsmeade. Let's check that out. That side quest. Uh, I overheard Clementine talking to 
herself and three broomsticks, she mentioned something about a swarm of butterflies. I have this horrible feeling that that is going to send us into the dark forest, but we'll give it a try. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly. But I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Ugh. Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. So the answer is yes, she is a coward. For... Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. Good luck. Yes, yes. If she were truly curious, as a cat would, it would curiosity would trump the fear. Stupidly sometimes, sure, but still curiosity would trump the fear. On a different note, um, follow the butterflies. References are Ron Weasley. Um, follow the spies. Follow spies. Handy Why couldn't you follow indeed, the your field guide? Oh, I'm most spiders. pleased to be included. And if I remember correctly, he's terrified of spiders because of his brothers, Fred and George Weasley. <laughs> okay, so we should have one sec. I am not going to wake up a damn <laughs> bug. But there they are. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. See, this Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Thing. Did warn you about the dug bug? I do not want to fight the damn thing. Following the butterflies. Well, well. And we have quite a moving fortress. Excellent. Okay, let's head back to Hogsmeade and in that side quest. Hogsmeade, here I come. Please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardsey. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? And I seriously doubt she'll ever consider going in there, but we got our treasure, so yay. Let's go and sell stuff. This place should still be locked and is. 
Let's go and get this soul stuff so we can get some money. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. I will sell stuff in a moment. If I remember correctly, other than the demi-guy statue over there, we have a one of these for money. Money, 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 money. Money. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay, so we are currently at 2,800. And use just glasses, a pleasure just doing gloves, business. hat, glasses, gloves, jersey, cloak, cloak, gloves, shirt, shirt, scarf, unidentified, so we'll leave that for now, and glasses. Excellent. Oh, right. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. There is actually. I've already purchased all the seeds. We're at 4,000. So let's start here. T shaped potion stand unlocks a ability to conjure a T shaped potion stand, perfectly suitable for all your brewing needs. In theory, the T shaped one should actually have three potion crafting points. That is a medium thing. Uh, for potting, small potting with five. That one's useful. Nothing like finding just the right uh, medium thing. potting potions of the ball, that's just one. Potting potion, that's just that's a small one again with one. That's three. Potting medium potting with three, that's the next one I need. Or is it two? I don't think it really matters at this point, but the important bit is that it is there. And that's three thousand, so we'll need to get a whole lot more money for the rest of these. So We'll need more money, we'll get some more later. Otherwise, we're good. And then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Ha! Nice. That, my friends, is a useful spell. Okay, so, um, journal. We need to acquire and use an invisibility potion and acquire and use a thunder brew potion against an enemy. You see, now there's a big problem for me. I have neither of those potions, and I don't have the crafting materials to cr make either of them. And they're expensive. Which is unfortunate, because I don't have the money for it right now. At least I might have the money for one of them, but not both of them. So... As will be evidenced if I run up this way. Um, hmm. I saw what you did. Ha! I have no tolerance for thieves. Hand them back. Hand what back, sir? We've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only. So yeah, those guys are stealing stuff. Oh, right. there. In the market for potions, are we? What can I do for you today? Now, as you can see, here are potions. That one is 1,000. Oh, I can actually get them both. So let's actually do that. A wise decision. Unfortunately, oh, thank I you. the money for that, but I do want that spell. I hope that to spell see you again. Pretty cool. Farewell for now. So, let's go and find ourselves some enemies, shall we? Um world map. Now I can explore in just about any direction, but I've been working on this particular area already, so might as well continue there. Let's try and get to that cave. I'm sure we'll find some enemies on our way to the cave. Use those potions, get the spell, and move forward. Did I sell stuff? I did, yes, good. Then I bought the fire potting station. Seems pleasant enough, this place. Yes, yes. Okay, we have an enemy there. Awesome. Okay, now let's go with invisibility. Yes. 
Heavy on Accio. Expelliarmus. And there we go. Rebellio. That, my friends, completes our mission to gain that spell. That's all enemies here. And yes, I'm going to attack the person. Levioso, Accio. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Levioso. Let's continue to that cave, partly because it'll probably give us some gear item and partly because killing stuff will give us a little bit of experience. So yeah. Now Revenue. I could do that and look for crafting materials such as these. Ooh, look, we have a cave there. This looks intriguing. Now we did that. And there it is. Excellent. Rebellion. As you can see, we can't reach the chest. Solution? Accio. Pull this thing. Drop it there. Access the chest. And an unidentified Rebellion. legendary hat. How awesome is that? So, that covers this. Why is it still showing? It shouldn't be. Oh, right. I know why it's showing. Because it is still. Pepple. Now it should not be on the map any longer, that is correct. As you can see we have a Merlin trial behind us, I'm going to see if I can get that done as well. I do have enough time of course. So let's see about this Merlin trial. Should be possible depending on which one it is. Maybe not. We should see, right? Means. Merlin trial. Now uh, you see those ball things over there. I usually use a specific spell. Apparently I don't need to worry about that. Okay. Memory serves here a nine ball, usually. There should be another one up here somewhere. Revelio. There it is. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. There we go. Merlin trial completed, and that is how you do that Merlin trial with the balls. You just need to destroy those things. Excellent. Let's grab these crafting materials. While we're here, then we can head up to Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Let's find the library. Potions class. Have you finished your assignments? I have. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. 
Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not okay. paying attention. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would in once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. Defindo! It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Yeah, I really like that spell. It does a fair bit of damage. Um, more later on, of course, as with all of them. As I mentioned earlier, Defindo can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing to practice. Yes, he's happy that I'm practicing. Let's see. Call spells? No. Dark Arts. Uh, this one does not include Defendo. It does include Stand Still, though. That's cool. And that is that one. Okay. So it's those two that I'm watching for. But for right now, Defendo is actually really good against trolls. Um, spells. At least for that. There. For no cast, slices through impacted enemies to strike additional targets. Yes. Let's do that. I always find that spell useful. That allows you to blast multiple enemies, which is also very useful. But we'll get to those later. Actually, you know what? Let's boost our most valuable spells. Now we have one talent left. Obviously we'll want to be boosting these later on. Core spells, I've already got one. I don't need the second one right now. So let's check out gear, because I know we have the unidentified hat. We have not that one. But this one. There. Okay, we have a flower box apparently and there's something else ha huh. portrait cool that should be all of them so let's see what quests we have now we have flying class the daily and keys and the candles for the ghosts let's check the map no side quests in the world map or hogsmeade we do have this which is probably the delay the daily and keys and is so next we will be doing that Oh, that's something else. Okay, we'll go there. And we'll end this video here. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, like, subscribe, comment, do your thing. Just remember, comments are all welcome. Um, if you want advice or comments on my general gameplay or how to do something. I have just about finished the game completely. I'm at like 98% on my main on the first playthrough. So yeah, doing fairly well. I will see you guys next time. Take care, enjoy.